Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking you on a tour. Well, it's a very historic tour. So please stay tuned. So guys, we are at Rose Hall Great House and we are now driving through the gate. Guys, look at this beauty. This is the driveway leading up to the Rose Hall Great House. As you can see, there are cut stones fencing on both sides of the driveway and look at that beautiful lawn look at the amount of land space trust me these colonial masters were really living in luxury as is common among most great houses they always have a long driveway going up to the house and as we approach we have two turn off one going to the right one going to left to the left and we'll take the left so guys we're taking this route to go by the great house and just look at the fencing the cut stone right it's a beauty trust me the trees and the lawn in the middle section highlighting the house as when we go up when we drive up a bit further then you'll have a full view of this mansion so guys we have a lot of trees for shade um there are one on, there are a few trees that i can recognize that are fruit trees the others i'm not so clear about but i would just say um it seems to be more of a tree where you can seek shade we are now approaching the parking lot to my left is where you have like gift shops if you need to purchase any craft items and we are turning to our right to get a parking space so that we can show you the beauty of this mansion It is called Annie's Treasure, and so we're gonna walk around and show you a few items that they have in the store. Okay, they have a lot of displays of a variety of items that you can purchase, guys. We're just um, purchasing our our ticket now so that we can move forward to the great house. So guys, we have some hats, we have some bags, slippers, so when you come to the great house, I'm coming, you can always stop by and check the shop out. It comes in a beautiful frame with a rose hall logo. Now the cost is $1,850 Jamaican. US twelve dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And that's all not the pay of Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's no obligations. You can take the picture at the end of the tour, you would view it outside where the gift shop is on the monitor. So if you want you buy. You look at it and you're not interested, then you'd walk away. And as I said, it is no obligations. So the question is, are you interested in doing the picture in front of the house with a photograph? Of? I, I was I was me. I was planning on taking my own pick. Right, my phone. I'll tell you the story about that one day you do. <laughs> <laughs> With yourself in front of the house? No. So the photograph I would definitely have. Thank you. So the even if I want it for a thumbnail? Okay, that's the, if you want to do your own because you want to at the, at the house, you take your picture, take your picture of the house and then you want to Photoshop afterwards for your own. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, this is the walkway to the great house. Mm. 
go over there, man? You see the sea? Mm -hmm. goodness wow what a beauty So guys, we are going up the stairs and this house is a beauty. Go ahead, take it up yourself. Now those wings 
were made from wood and brick. The structures of this house, it is made from limestones that came from off ballastic from Europe. It was an exchange for sugar and rum. But here in Jamaica, we do a car, 70% of limestones. Annie May Patterson. She was born in England in 1802 to an English mother and Irish father. Her parents were interested in trading. They moved to Haiti with Annie when she was 10 years old. One year later, the parents contracted yellow fever virus and died. When Annie adopted Annie, she taught Annie everything she knew in witchcraft. She was a good priestess. When Annie reached the age of 18, the nanny passed away. Annie came here to Jamaica, searching for a wealthy husband. She met and married John Rose Palmer. It was slaves that gave her the name White Witch because she was wicked. Eleven years, Annie lived in this house. Nine years later, Annie murdered all three husbands and countless slave lovers. Annie was killed in December 1831 by Taku, her free slave lover, he was a good priest. Trouble began. Annie was in love with her new bookkeeper Robert who wanted to fall from England. Robert was not in love with Annie. He was in love with Gilson, his housekeeper, who was Taku's granddaughter. Annie found out she became jealous, cast a scratching spell on Gilson, where the flesh peels away from the bones. Within one week, Millicent died. Tapuhi then seek the revenge of his only granddaughter. He went into Annie's bedroom, made love to Annie. He then strangled her to death. Ashwan, the general overseer, he too was also one of Annie's lover. He too seek the revenge of Annie, which is called Love Triangle. He went after Tapu in the hills, then he shot him. Annie died at age 29. She was only four feet. 11 inches tall. They said we done my stomach with small packages. And it was a great example. Going out to Hyatt Hotel, a place called Panmara, now called Drill Brand, three palm trees there to represent the husbands. This part of the room that we all in, it is the ballroom. Palmer is a socializer of all friends. That's 17 and 18th century chamber music. No reggae, no bombardi back then. So I believe they were bored. Now rooms are NASA candlelights. Today lighting is converted into electricity. An original chandelier, 18th century piece, French gold, the ray. Grandfather clock in the corner was donated to the house by the late famous country western singer John Cash. He once had a great house, five minutes drive right away from here in Silicon Hill. Johnny Cash and the Rolling were close friends. He was also a resident in Jamaica for 40 years. We do tours by the Cinnamon Hill Great House, Mondays to Fridays. Oriental or Asian pieces, nothing to do with the house. The Rawlings are the ones who brought them here. Their fabrics on walls you can touch. They are not wallpaper, but silk fabrics. They change just five to 10 years or longer due to humidity here in Jamaica. Woodworks in the house, all Jamaican mahogany. Furniture, genuine 17th, 18th, and early 19th century pieces. Sketches were held here. The portrait, original Rose. First and good mistress Rose Hall named after her. She had four husbands, all of whom died naturally. Unlike Annie, who had murdered all three of hers. We have no portraits of Annie. The night she was killed, the slaves burnt all her personal belongings. They did not like Annie for her cruelty. This is an original 1765 century mahogany cane chair unfolded. It becomes a library steps to reach high shelves of books and records. The average height of people back then were five feet two inches tall. There were short people back in the days, but still is. <laughs> so from here you go straight across main dining room. Welcome to the main dining room, Palmer's Dine, when guests are in this house. Sheraton banquet table, chairs, ribbon, chip and dale, directly across, a piece mahogany break front with 18th century trade Chinese dishes on display. 
Someone took picture of the chandelier and image of a flying bat appears in it. Look on this side. We have an original portrait. It is King Louis XVI of France. He was beheaded in the Revolution War. The French governed in Haiti. And in coming to Jamaica, she brought it with her. Sheraton sideboard table, Sheraton knife box. <laughs> Once closed, locks the key. So dinner knives is what that place in it. It may look like an urn. It does not contain any ashes. It's just for dinner knives. Glory to God. Metropolitan Museum in New York, they're searching to find those persons. Psychics believe guarding red sheep with Rihanna. Her favorite color was red. But if you walk the pathway, look at the burning red, her eyes turn to you. you want to give it a try? See how you said no? You don't want to see if she likes you that much. Because <laughs> later on, if you see her, you know, don't call me. <laughs> Just tell her that you're only passing through. It's a very good artist, right? Mm -hmm. This is the house here in the condition of how the house had built. When the Rollings bought it in 1960, the house did not burn. It stood abandoned over 130 years it became naturally. This house 272 years old. We had 700 great houses in Jamaica. 671 were burned during slavery uprising, 1831 to 1834. We only have 29 great houses left here. It is the fear of any spirit. That was the reason they did not burn this house. Did not want the spirit of any past of the generations. They leave this house here. The area that we all in was the reception hall. There would be the main entrance. You could not make an abrupt entrance in ballrooms back then. Now kitchens were made on the outside. They were afraid of the main houses to be burnt. Servants who are serving these had was to whistle. Caught not whistling believe they were stealing food, they beheaded them. when no guest is in this house. Table at the white, cheers early Queen Anne. Look to my right. It's a mahogany Welsh dresser. <laughs> pewter pieces on display contain tin and lead. Continuous eating and drinking from pewters could lead to brain poisoning. Believe that what could make Annie just a little bit crazy. Look to my left on the next side is an 18th century plumbing system or copper lavabo. Used for washing of hands and silverware before and after meals. The pipe broken from underneath the top piece, the water would drip in the pan. That one bucket on the floor where the rope is. Only if you can, take it up and feel the weight of it if you can. It is made from wood and copper. It weighs five pounds, but it's doubled when filled with water. I call it muscle builder. It was used by slave children ages five to nine years old to carry water in wooden buckets one mile and a half away from here. The water spilled from the slave children, 10 lashes across their back. The wooden buckets were to help build in their tiny muscles, preparing them working in the fields. Babies born disabled are the ones who are placed in the sun, left to die. So we'll be going up to the you to stand 
hoping none of the ladies push you. Mm -hmm. The balcony was much more extensive and there was no roof underneath. Now the wings I was telling you about. If you look outside to the left, that green pavement, it is the foundation of the east room. Over there had seven bedrooms, bachelor quarters and billiard. Notice the walkway there? It once had the covering connected to this house. If you look to the right side, beyond those trees, there's an orange flower. That's the king of the forest tree. And behind it is a drumstick or maranga tree. Below is a parking lot. Would have been the west wing. That area had kitchens, pantry, and certain quarters. So when you're here, we're going to the room so all the killings took place. Cruel, the fabric and embroidered or unstitched in India. This was where Annie Strangle, the third husband, having the help of Taku. So they say what goes around comes around. All the beds in the rooms you'll notice they are short while you're going through. They were not because of average height of people back then. They sat up or they curled sleeping, believe it was good for their digestive systems. They were late eaters, so they thought lying down, choke and die. The beds in the house, they are 18th century mahogany. Plantation owners were to use the same toilets as of the slaves. The fear they had, they had indoor toilets called Komo, to my right. All bedrooms would carry one. But once our doors are used, the servants made to come up and empty it. And they did not arrive on time, they would throw it on them. Second room. French fabric, normally one of the coolest room, once windy. This was where Annie stabbed the second husband in his sleep countless times, making sure he was dead. Hot oil and he poured into his ears, so the brain explode. Blood stains could be seen here. Natures there today, the fabric surround the walls. So I hope all my beautiful people you all sleep well tonight. Now we're going in the red room. Welcome to Annie Palmer's bedroom. The red fabric tell the passion she had for blood. Here in this room, Annie was strangled to death by Taku. All the portraits hanging on the walls, all original, still no one knows who they are. There was a sad face that appears in that headboard when someone took a picture of it. Look to my left, we have an original chaise lounge, painting couch or day bed. It was not customary for husbands and wives to sleep together. And it would pretend she was painting whenever she needed the attentions of her husbands. And it blamed deaths of her husbands on yellow fever virus, contagious disease back then like COVID. Each time Annie murdered her husband, slaves were the ones come and get the bodies. Then it went to the seashore and buried them. But when they returned, Annie ordered those overseers to meet the slaves and got them beheaded. So she would cover her tracks. We say in Jamaica, dead man tell no tales. Annie Palmer's city more tea room, intimate discussions Annie would held here. Original mirror Chippendale, her favorite. Gentleman from Canada, he took a picture of the mirror woman appears. Second original, her sewing box. Where Anne found time to sew, no one knows, but she did. I assume she sold her book. There's that long string running along the wall behind you. It's a replica bell pull. It was used to ring servants when needed their aid. It was extended out in the rear courtyard. The pictures on the wall to the left. Those were former English governors for Jamaica. So whenever you're through, you can make your way to the other room. in the gentleman's room, the first husband of Annie, whom she poisoned, pouring arsenic in his coffee, 
It is called rat poison. After his death, she became the wealthiest plantation owner in this area. And he lived with the first husband six years, second husband two years, and third husband six months. Different strokes for different folks. I believe she called her men bed warmers. Now ladies, please do not get no ideas. Last better room in the house. This is your room, the guest room, the safest room in the house. No one got killed here as yet. Now, guess what, ladies? We only have one handsome gentleman here you now on the tour. I'm wondering if he would volunteer himself to be on his court. Mm -hmm. So, you want to volunteer yourself? You know what? I'll have to take you out into the dungeon, lock you up and throw the keys so no Wi Fi, no jerk chicken. No mm -hmm. restaurant beer, no Coca Cola for you. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a for that area. We'll be going down the staircase. I'm going to ask you all please be extremely careful. This goes all the way through original coral from the reef. You will find it a little bit slippery. We have that support rail to the side. We do not want to blame any TV honey. So you're going to watch your heads. So for the taller ones. You're all gonna wash your head. I know you don't want to leave your headless, and you're not coming back this way. There's the You can purchase your cool drink there. How special is the witch's brew? Made from plantation rum with more rum and fruit juices. We have other cool drinks without the alcohol. The beans are called bullet wood. They are much harder than mahogany. Not all of them is original. You'll notice in the walls there are tiny holes or slots, few others around. Form of ventilation slaves had in this area. This was the dungeon. Jesus were on either sides. Now elevated and converted modern days, ladies, and gents restrooms safe to use. I did promise to lock you all down here. We all too plentiful and beautiful for you. But I will let you talk to anybody too. Come over here, take care of This is the ground plan of the house. This is where you're at the main house. Covered walkways, east and west wings. Toilets are far away, the courtyard. This is ink, not blood. It points to where Annie's bear to the East Garden. The tour will end yeah, there. The bear trap, human trap original. Found on property, no bears in Jamaica for the runaway slaves. Here we also have restoration pictures. It took the Rawlings five years to restore. This would be the late John Rawlings. Now he passed April 2000. Uh, normally there's a wig. It's a replica. No, <laughs> it's a replica of a cat and nine tail. It would have used by overseers on slaves for punishment. It would plant in nine, makes it much thicker. Hooks would be at the end. Grab the skin of the slaves. Pull the skin, then tear their skins apart. Cat and nine tail. So, sir, if you wish to use the gents restroom, you may. You can step down and you push to the left, but I don't want to talk to you now. Madams, ladies' restroom is on that side, but Taco will come and greet you later on tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll keep your daughter with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a showcase on the other side, Easter of all the Rawlings, letters and pictures of auntie's guests to consent back, artifacts around, go ahead, read, read, draw conclusions, and if you want to use the restroom, you can. If you want to purchase something on the other side, cool drink, you may. A short while we move on to end the tour, and it's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Ready? Now this is your friend, Tumor Pani, though it's not original, in the same spot and it was buried December 1831. A simply hurt grave with a wooden cross on it. She was buried here by Ashmont, the general overseer. 1971, during restorations, the Rolling Stone bones did not know whose bones was it, sent the bones to examine was proven then sent back proven to be Annie's 1972. The Rawlings built the stone place and its bones in. 1978, psychics called the spirit of Annie up. She confessed more than all three husbands. Left the message the last mistress that will live in the house. No one had lived there since. What the psychics did, placed three crosses on the tomb, one here one to the next end, one over on the other side, but that side faded because of the weather. They wanted was to trap the Annie spirit with the fourth cross. When they called the spirit of Annie up, Annie did not answer. So the fourth cross could never be placed on this side. So it's left open for Annie to go and come as she pleases. So Annie could be standing right next to one of you. I'm not sure which of you, especially you that is drinking the witch's food. <laughs>